Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's time for another light novel review. Welcome once again. I am going to be reviewing Ayami Hara, which is, I guess it is a light novel in a sense, but uh, it's not volume based. It's only, it's the only one. It is hardcover. Uh, it is by Misuki Sujimura, which. She's a known author in Japan for horror, um, and I don't know how big she is in Japan per se, but um, she's a known name at least in Japan. Uh, obviously here overseas, not so much, but um, actually it's a pretty good one. I have started it, I did not finish it, and there's a reason why um, I, I'll, I'll go, I'll, I'll say it. Uh, I did get a, a audio book of this one, so I wanted to review the hardcover first, and then the audiobook, so I decided to read most, not most of it, half of it on um, physical copy, and then the rest, uh, if not all, through audio, um, because I want to do two reviews, two separate reviews um, for you guys here on my channel. So, this is brought to you by Yenon, which is the side division of Yen Press that releases light novels. Uh, so, anything that you're looking for that's light novels, no pictures, uh, well, not, not whatsoever, but no pictures, um, is going to be in Yenon. They have quite a bit of stuff. They have stuff like this one where it's collections of uh, authors that are, like I said, uh, sort of famous in Japan. They're not really anime-based series, but they are um, pretty much in the light novel genre still. And then you have stuff like um, movie-based light novels, which uh, you can find. Um, Zuzume was one that I reviewed not so long ago here in my channel. So you can find stuff like that or uh, actual light novels of anime like, like this one. So all those are yet, are yet on. Before anything, guys, if you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. Again, I do a lot of reviews for Yen Press, uh, Easy Press, Yen On, uh, Chain Novel Club, uh, all those companies together. So. If you're looking for a good place to get reviews, here is the spot. So do consider subscribing and giving some love to the channel. I do appreciate that. So, okay, um, it is a collection of stories. Um, from my understanding, there's a connection to all these stories. I have not gotten to that point. Uh, like I said, I, I've i read most of um, the first one and not most of the first one, all of, all of the first one and most of the second one. Uh, there is, I think, five in total. Yeah, five, uh, five stories in total. So um, as far as I know or what I've been told, um, the the last two are the better ones of the collection but i don't know you know that's true. everyone has different opinions personally the first one um was a little bit more of like it was more believable um in the sense up to the end and, I, and i'll explain why but the second one it's it's a little twisty in in a way so uh, i'll start with the second one the second one follows uh, uh new neighbors essentially they move to the complex trying to make friends and there's like strangeness amongst the mothers and um i guess because i don't connect to that type of world i just it doesn't it doesn't attract me so much, but uh, her her interaction with her being or used to be a newscaster and people considering her famous to a level and um, trying to fit in with these mothers, also there being a strange mother that everyone talks down about, and then the one who seems to be like the leader of them all, who also everyone seems to have some fear behind, like all that mystery. It didn't, it didn't build suspense for me to what it ended up being. Um, personally, I think it's just mainly because I don't live in that world, and that's why. Now, the, the first one, a new student, uh, even though I'm not a student, I'm a teacher, uh, it's still in my realms of understanding how lives work, and I was a student at one point, and it's very, very actually interesting because... Um, 
eighty percent of the story, you think that the new student is actually the bad guy, where eventually you find out that he's not. Um, and it's it's a pretty good suspenseful and twist to the story. I won't say um, who the bat person is particularly, but you kind of find out or you figure it out, put one one together halfway through the story. Um, basically, she goes into an abusive relationship and she doesn't understand why. Uh, the twist in the end reminded me a lot of like Stephen King style stories where ninety five percent, ninety percent of the story it's very very much like oh wow this could happen in real life right uh well that's not fair a lot of Stephen king stories are not like that i mean if you think of, of cujo and it and uh um <laughs> carrie uh, all of those from the beginning it, they could not happen but i'm thinking stuff like children of the corn i guess where you see it and you're like man this could possibly could have happened um even though there's possibly that maybe you know, there's a lot of red flags but still um there's that like unknownness of what the real evil is until it's revealed and it's like oh well no that would have never that could have never happened <laughs> which is kind of what the first one was i really liked it uh to be honest and it's it's it was an easier read than the second one. The second one, like, I remember having to go back to read through some stuff because it just felt like um, people gossiping a lot. And, and that's, I mean, that's kind of what leads to the suspense of the story. But the first one just seemed to be a lot better. Um, there's three more in this book. And like I said, in the audiobook review, I will review those three. Um, so if you want to see those three, then you have to go there. Uh, if you want to hear more about these two, you obviously will have to be here in this video. Uh, but the next three is co-worker, group leader, and family. So um, Yamihara itself is uh, what connects most of these stories. But it's definitely the definition that they use for Yamihara and let me go here it starts with saying it's abbreviation to Yami harassment or a compound of darkness harassment uh, unwelcome conduct or a person stemming from darkness in one's own mind or heart uh, so they basically play on that word what does that mean what type of harassment does it mean like in the first one the harassment it was uh, at first you thought it was stalking and that was kind of like the harassment that you thought it was playing with but at the end of the day it was a controlling boyfriend almost so um, yeah a very 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 good written i do appreciate uh this this uh light novel actually i'm into the horror um genre so really really liked it uh go check it out there is a hardcover copy that you guys can buy through yen press there's also an audiobook that you can buy so if you want to listen to the first chapter or or so before you buy it and add it to your collection then you can do that as well so go check it out yenpress.com you can find the different websites where you guys can buy this uh series uh thank you guys so much for watching this if you haven't done so by now subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time like always don't be strangers see you guys